Hello and welcome to Real Hi-Fi Help. How expensive is good timing in the CD player world? Um, <clears throat> I'll just uh, show you guys some some things. These I just want to tell you guys. This is just my opinion. Okay, I've tried a lot of CD players. Um, I've owned oh I don't know how many I've owned. I've owned at least. Um, uh 32 to 50 cd players at least and then i've heard like hundreds um other places so i've owned quite a bit of, of cd players um i just quickly want to show you guys what this video is, is about i'm going through the different levels here and i'm just going to break it down starting from this uh, viewpoint um so we're talking about timing timing isn't that one m i think it's one one m um timing i think it's a very important part of the detail so within detail um as a part of naturality depth and, and everything timing is a thing we don't usually talk about in in hi-fi and it was only when i kind of came into the really high-end stuff in, in hi-fi like negra and um you know the best of the best gear you know usually the most expensive crazy crazy expensive gear and then when i got to hear my my friend's uh, hi-fi streamer i realized that timing actually is very expensive if you want really really good timing i'm not just talking about clarity and focus those are also in important aspects, you know, and all of the you know, bits and pieces of the detail all also very important. But timing, I didn't realize it until uh, about a year ago, one and a half year ago, that um, it takes really a, a fantastically good system to get the timing just right. And I've tried a lot of CD players. I've owned a lot of, um, I think I owned some Kenwood CD players. Some I definitely owned, owned some Cyrus CD players. Sony, Philips, Technics, uh, Yamaha, Denon, and a lot of those other uh, brands down there, you know. And I've had a lot of those lower models uh, and old models from the 90s. Um, and around year 2000 up to 2010. I've had a lot of those models and they were all, you know, very much, uh, you know, low end price wise. But the thing I've noticed that they all have in common <laughs> is that they have horrible timing. I mean, horrible timing. And, they, and, you, and you know, they might have a bit of warmness here and there, a tiny bit of personality, a bit of rawness doing a bit of this with the detail kind of showing a window in from a certain angle you know they're all they all sound kind of different you know so I'll, I'll give that to them but one thing that just really frustrated me and I didn't know this at the time while I was listening to all of this that stuff like the timing and uh, especially tonality but let's just talk about timing Timing was just really horrible. I mean, almost uh, chaotic and loose in a way that uh, it was so loose that the, the details just didn't make a lot of sense. You know, you're just putting a lot of stuff in there and then just like, okay, there you go, boom. So I would say some of the, the very worst uh, timed gear that I've heard Let's say I'm into the uh, the cheapest Sony Philips uh, Cyrus thing uh, around here. I also tried some Shangling Classic. I think it was called Shangling Classic. Oh my God, that was bad. My God, that was bad. Uh, and 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 as a different topic, the tonality was just out of this world bad. You know, where you just thought. Um, like what the hell is going on here you know but um i mean i've heard a lot of okay 
CD players that were stuff like, you know, some old Sony Technics models that were, you know, old mid to high level models that back then cost a couple of thousand bucks. And you could definitely hear that when, when once you went from the, the older models, from the low to the mid to the high end, that there was a power supply there, you know, that, that suddenly appeared. <laughs> Where as if when, when you're down here with the worst timing, you get gear that usually is very light, uh, doesn't weigh a lot. And it doesn't have very big... Uh, power supplies and there are usually a lot of uh, thingamajig um, parts you know here and there all over the place um, and I feel that you know it's only when you have CD players that usually weigh a hell of a lot and they have these dedicated power supplies and they don't just have one but two but three and it's done with, you know, proper materials, isolated properly, and you have proper plugs. I could definitely hear that once we were getting up in that class, like my modified uh, Yamaha CDX1030 model, you know, that's like from 1991, you know. And my friend, he, he saved that sound. There, I could hear that there was potential there, you know, and, and luckily... I, I listened to, to my senses and I said, just try and upgrade this. And he did a perfect job. Okay, so fantastic. It, it helped with a lot of stuff. Um, didn't make it a perfect CD player. You know, timing wise, it got better, you know, um, but still timing wise, it could still improve uh, a lot simply because that's how it's built. But everything else basically was a hell of a lot better once he upgraded it. Um, so, you know, Techniques, Sony, Philips, uh, I'm talking about models from the, the early to the late 90s, um, going from low to mid models, and also some that are high models from that time. They had really bad timing, um, and then and then yeah, once in a while I would hear uh, perhaps a Sony top model from a certain era. It could be nineteen eighty eight or nineteen ninety nine or whatever. And yeah, and you know the first CD players that that we got, they were heavy, they were big, and somehow there there was a sort of charm to them. You know, they had big power supplies. You know, they weighed five, ten, fifteen kilos. Um, there was without a doubt something there, something almost original and slightly analog. Um, but the timing was never 100% there where you wanted it to be. And the reason why I'm mentioning this is because, um, when you don't have good timing, every part of the detail becomes uh, suspect, you know, you, you start questioning basically everything going from listening with your heart to listening with your head and kind of being stuck in your head over analyzing this and that and and i feel that often when i listen to cd players just like take random cd players on the market costing random uh, amounts of of, of 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 things um i just find myself you know getting stuck in my head viewing detail from certain points that are just flat in some way appealing and interesting but it just feels like you're just getting a certain type of, of thing and then when you buy the next year's model then you get a different taste a different angle <clears throat> and perhaps there's a tiny bit more bass and a bit more punch or whatever but it just feels like it's more the same thing you know um so I feel that we don't even reach level one timing wise. I, I remember, I'm going to show you this. Uh, and I and just want to tell you guys, also with, with cheap streamers and these gimmicky devices where you have like a built in USB DAC and stuff like that. And, you know, all of these things you can plug in your streamer and convert from this to that box. 
all of these $100, some, you know, $50 here, $200 there, $300 purchases. A lot of those things have just really bad timing. And when you have so such a bad timing, yeah, sometimes you're lucky and you can connect like an LPSU to it, you know, a linear power supply. And yeah, it makes it more solid. It gives it a better timing and, and so, but still there are limits to a lot of these gimmicks and devices how how well timed it can be and how solid it can sound and, and overall perform um so it doesn't just apply to cd players it also applies to like most normal streamers that i've heard um i would say below a thousand dollars just have horrible timing um where it just and 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 you have to understand that when you have horrible timing you get a sound that's loose or uh it somehow pumps out like doo, 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 you know the, 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 you can't mentally view what's going on because it's almost as if it's 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 getting to you out of phase just being thrown at you and then you have to do all kinds of things with with your your equipment figuring out Okay, do I do I then put like a very fat, warm sounding cable between my CD player and my amp to kind of slow it down so I can mentally view the, the sound? And yes, to some degree, that could improve the timing maybe a tiny bit. But when you start solving problems in, in that way, you lose the the freedom of the movement you lose the separation the the natural uh, stability of 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 the volume and and the three D uh, structure you know you, you just you just compensating basically so um level one um once I got into like an okay decent type of of sound of CD you know uh, then I got something like a hotel 1072 you know that that that's when uh, that that was like you know the aha moment for me where i felt like i escaped the madness you know not just timing but a lot of the stuff that was just you know horrible in most ways you know um but this is where i felt that yeah now we're getting there, you know, now something is happening, putting, uh, kind of putting the detail into focus so I can, you know, mentally figure out what, what's going on. So, I mean, not, don't want to talk bad about uh, Rotel, you know, uh, this is, take this as a compliment, but this is where I felt that I got out of the total madness of really bad timing, where it was just so horrible, I just couldn't listen to to cd players because it was just mentally draining having to sort that type of chaos um you know in your head so i felt that you know this was a step forward you know it 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 did something that a lot of uh, cheaper cd players on the used market couldn't do for me um where i felt that it was just like a big hole of really shitty gear on the used market where i could just I could get a bit of this, I can get a bit of that, but I just couldn't get the timing. And this is where I felt that, okay, I got a Hotel 1072 model. Yeah, now it's starting to time uh, well. But still, it, it, it was still, uh, you know, me looking back at that now, having heard really good timing, I can now hear, I didn't realize that at the point, I can now hear that that was terrible sound. That that was truly terrible sound, but at least when when I when I went from that worst gear below level one, I somehow felt that okay things are starting to make sense now. You know, I I I can actually start to enjoy sound. So I just wanted to to say that. So don't don't read too much into this. Me saying that you own a Rotel CD player. It's so horrible. Blah, blah, blah. It's fine for the price, okay? You 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 get a, a decent product for the price, but only now can I see that. Uh, yeah, it was actually quite horrible, uh, but uh, it was actually still a hell of a lot better than most CD players that I had access to at that time. So that's the point. 
Um, so, uh, Lindorf CD player. Yeah, um, you're basically getting this cold Scandinavian direct sound that is clear, that is focused, and has a decent timing. You know, the, the, this is where t you actually start almost hearing, you know, timing. You know, it, 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 it almost... It, it's almost insane to think that at that time when this was new, that would have been about $3,000. Yeah, $3,000. Just to get something that was close at timing something that was okay. Um, and that kind of makes you think, like, like how, how much money do we really have to pump uh, into getting a CD player so you get a proper timing? I mean, back then when I had this thing and it was just, you know, I just got it used. Um, that for me was a big step, you know. I was like, whoa, you know, focus, detail, uh, a bit of timing, yeah. Wow, you know. I, so I could definitely feel a shift going from this to, to that, without a doubt. Um, yeah, so uh, I, I, I went... Um, to that and then over to uh, this I actually didn't didn't own this but I borrowed it for a while um, and I heard this also at some other places and then I could hear that um, just in regards to everything else in the sound this was just like clearly better on so many levels so just just understand that when I say level two I'm talking purely about timing and I could hear that even though this was more organic, natural and everything else than that. You would normally associate good timing with something that's very analytical and clinical in sound. And, and you're totally right. That That's usually what, what you would do. But even though we went from a clinical sound, analytical sound to something that's a lot more analog, um, we're simply going from a, a price range of CD players to a, a couple of thousand bucks more um, CD players here. Um, I think it's like $2,000 more at that time for, for this thing. So <clears throat> clearly timing was better without a doubt. It wasn't like, oh my God, it's so much better. But you could clearly hear that this is a different uh, caliber of of quality overall and just timing was somehow better um and and then yeah um i also heard uh i would say at, at actually a, a cheaper price range than this i heard you know stuff like the yamaha cd 2000 models from around again the, around the same year 2006 2010 11 12 whatever and I could hear that, <clears throat> yeah, that that that's actually you know um, that, that you we're starting to to really get into some good timing, you know, um, but but still not quite there. Um, and then I first found that when I listened to the Macintosh, uh, and I'm not a Macintosh fanboy, but I I found that. When I listened to that, there was an element of the timing in this thing that um, made the detail, which I, w I wouldn't say is the most natural detail I've heard, it's still a bit flat and, and in pieces, but it somehow made the detail more believable, more natural, more analog, um, simply because it was pretty decent um, in, in timing, you know. So <clears throat> timing wise, I would say that, you know, it for you to really get a good CD player, I would say it, it still starts at around this area here. And, and here you kind of get it like, like uh, cemented even more, you know. Um, so I could definitely feel a shift going from this thing to to that just timing wise um we're not talking about the overall signature because in a way i kind of prefer this and in a small way i also kind of prefer this so that they, they both have their 
their their own distinct interesting sound um and again we went over to the more expensive sound here going from a mcd 300 sound 301 sorry over to an mcd 500 model sound and yeah you could feel that it was just that tiny bit better <clears throat> so for me you know it just felt like the power supply in this was somehow bigger and and better somehow um still to this day i don't know why but i'm just a sucker for the macintosh look am i a bit vain am i a bit stupid am i a bit of a macintosh fanboy in a way i just can't get over how effing great their designs are just by the looks of them you know of course the the knobs could be a bit more solid and and, and metal like yeah yeah i get it but just turning it on the clicking the feedback putting your headphone in it or adjusting your macintosh amplifier with the cd player that form of natural lag um and control i like that you know uh i i feel that wow well done macintosh purely in regards to to that okay and some parts of the detail i was also like wow you know um but here i can feel that wow yeah okay i i, I understand why this thing costs what the hell did it cost i think it cost like ten thousand us dollars at the time 10 years ago you know uh, around 2010 around that time this was about ten thousand dollars in in my country i know insane isn't it uh so you guys in america and and you know and canada should stop complaining about your prices because macintosh over here is freaking expensive you know you, you can feel that there's another party involved getting this the stuff over here making it significantly more expensive and you know the danish tax system just like like what the hell you know <clears throat> um so yeah um fascinating i i could really i i could feel that you're like mm, yeah that's a proper cd player you know um and then we get into this bad boy you know from a 2.7 timing what i would call level 2.7 over to this you just feel like woof you know even more cemented sound overall you know uh, a, a better sound in every aspect but timing wise it it, it felt like like that this this almost had like a double power supply to the previous cd player you know uh, i have no idea how it's built um i'm not an engineer but it just felt like 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 here just put in like an extra kilo of power supply in this thing you know because it was just like just a lot more cemented and stable and analog you know this is this is where i heard macintosh for the first time sounding mostly analog i was just thinking like wow you know uh, i kind of like that sound still to this day i kind of like that sound you know that that is kind of cool looking aside from the price uh which um in my country you could probably get like a small car still trying to get something like this uh from a store i know insane um but then we get over to the negra sound and then just let's just purely look again at, at timing timing oh here we just feel like it it's like it, it's a different beast in itself you know timing is just almost perfect um when you hear this for the first time uh, having gotten used to normal cd players um timing just really sticks out um and of course it's it's extremely detailed, very focused, a bit on the analytical side. So it's almost as if, you know, there's 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 extra, uh, you know, emphasis on the timing. Um, but timing is just, woof, you know, 
we're, 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 we're up there. And I've heard since then a lot of other CD players in this price category. And I still, to this day, haven't really heard timing um, at this level. And yeah, the, the, there are some interesting uh, brands out there. You know, there are some... Um, brands that are you know what are they called dcs m labs and stuff like that that actually cost more than this that to some degree also have like a really good timing but just you know i still feel that th this is better uh, at least for me um so timing is just like insanely good and yeah you know better timing does exist but I think this is where we kind of run into a wall where um, in order to get better timing than this, you need uh, oil shike money uh, in a way, you know, unless you know some people that know some people that um, know a store that's going bankrupt, that's selling this stuff used. Um, I mean, you're not likely going to run into something uh, that has a lot better timing than this. Uh, but remember, you know, I'm I'm filming this in 2021. Um, times change, you know, especially uh, streamers. And uh, I can imagine CD players will also soon change. I, I feel that, you know, CD players have, have gotten, you know, really, even though they've become a lot better, you know, revealing individual pieces of detail, I still feel that, you know, depth-wise, naturality, timing was was just still very far away from from like the end destination where we should be that's just my opinion but um just amazing just amazing and to make it worse we've actually got something about at the round around the same level here which is the spectral cd player i can't remember what it's called sdr 4000 yeah something like that you almost can't get a hold of, of this thing. This is even more rare than the Negra. So if you thought that this was difficult to get a hold of, just try and get a hold of a, you know, a spectral CD player. It's almost impossible. You know, they almost don't make, produce any of these, you know, and they're just ridiculously priced. Um, I wouldn't, you know, last time I checked, this thing was at least twice the price of this and it didn't even sound uh, better. Uh, in some ways it did. Um, but, yeah, uh, very expensive. But, you know, fantastic CD player. And just the timing when you have this bad boy on a, a spectral um, piece of sound equipment. Um, awesome. Just, just awesome. Um, but look at it. I mean, you know, it, it, it looks like it belongs in a Tron movie from the 1980s. Um, these guys that make Spectral, it's almost as if they're from another planet, but they haven't realized that it's 2021. Um, but at least they're different. <laughs> uh, and at least they're, uh, you know, producing some of the best sound uh, in this world. So yeah okay it's it, it's very different i'll definitely say that and um the sound is fascinating you know having this uh, on a spectral system fascinating fascinating okay so okay the best cd players um in my opinion i i, st I still feel that it you know overall lo looking at all the aspects of the sound you know all of the aspects I still feel that, you know, Audio Note takes the cake. Um, and it basically takes the cake from almost their lower CD models to the mid to the high end. I would say especially from their mid to the high end. Um, it is a class in itself. And like I've written here... Um, it's, it's how it connects the dots as a whole, how the instrument gets um, presented to you, you know, that, that presentation. 
is is really like you know audio note in a nutshell um it doesn't just you know turn up like a blip on, on a radar being this undefined 2d dimensioned uh detail you know it's it's there it's sincere it's got substance and attitude you know and and it's and it's emotionally intelligent to adapt itself to whatever you're gonna play um so you could still even though it's a fine piece of instrument you know artistically built you could still play some um primitive music on it to, together with some really classical music together with all kinds of weird genres of, of music so it does basically everything um and, and and just having that truly deep and believable detail is crucial you almost can't buy that in the cd world i mean it's it's so difficult getting true depth but you know I'm a guy who likes to look at things in a very, 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 uh, at a very, very deep level. And I can always find, uh, uh, you know, chinks uh, in an armor, you know, uh, even audio out gear. I, I, I can find it, trust me. I, I, I can find errors in basically all gear that, that exists out there. It just takes a bit of time. Uh, some some gear is so good, it it takes me a while to kind of you know figure it out. But I I can hear uh, a, a small error, if you would call it an error. It it isn't really a thing that kind of pops out. But me having been exposed to you know my my friend's top streamer, which is you know. It's a product that doesn't officially uh, exist. It might exist in some years' time, but having been exposed to that sound, I do realize that um, speaking just about the timing, um, yeah, it, it lags a bit behind there. And so it basically has everything going on for it. And, it, and, and trust me, you know, compared to most CD players, um it it will actually you know uh, be better than than those cd players timing wise but when we're into this weird territory of stuff you perhaps not have heard but i've heard uh these really expensive cd players from these very weird brands um that are in this this range here of fifty thousand dollars to one hundred and fifty thousand dollars like random brands that pop up once in a while that that I hear a bit here and there, I do recognize that that one particular part of the detail, you know, somehow is better than um, even some of the bigger audio note CD players. Um, I can't really put audio note uh, CD players on a scale um, timing wise. Um, but I, I definitely say this, that everything else is on such a high level that you don't really notice that there's anything wrong with the, the timing, if you know what I mean. Because with, with audio notes, CD players, everything evolves around the music, the, the authenticity. So timing never really becomes a a focus point. But it's only, you know, me having been exposed to certain pieces of gear that I, you know, reflecting back on that audio notes sound that I, that I realized that, yeah, um, I, I can hear that uh, because they are so, so good in, into this whole area here that that more, um, I wouldn't say analytical part of the sound, but just just that other part of the sound having a different type of construction different religion of of putting components together i i could definitely hear that there is something there that that is in a way more appealing you know so i would say like one tenth of the detail i would feel that perhaps the the audio note sound um isn't just isn't quite up to these like handful of of uh, random brands that I've heard 
in this uh, category. So um, yeah, that that is a small uh, chink in the armor, as you call it, small weakness. Um, and then yeah, because of that, you know, that is one of the reasons why I would actually like to listen to an Acre CD player or a Spectral CD player once in a while instead of an audio note CD player. You know, and in, in my country, those things, those beasts cost like 15,000 US dollars to um, 55,000 US dollars. That That's around that price area, you know. And that's kind of the exception to the rule of these few, few, few CD players that, that pop up once in a while, you know. Um, where you just get some insanely priced CD players in, in this, you know area here that I talked about so yeah just wanted to mention that to you guys just to give you some like full truth perspective um, okay so I would say that um, these handful of CD players that I've heard um, they I would say they get up to like a level five um, timing wise um, but again, you know, overall as a CD player, I, I just didn't really like them, you know. Um, but they had insanely good timing, so I had to give that uh, that one fact. Um, had to throw that in. Um, so, to conclude, um, not to make this video too too long, I would say that there's a lot of. Um, expensive CD players around the two and a half to four zone. So let's just have a look at that. That's two and a half to four ish zone, you know. A lot of expensive CD players there. Let me just focus. Um, which I would say generally costs at this time of recording. Um, around 5,000 to 30,000 US dollars in the stores, new or used. Um, so for me personally, that fact alone makes it hard for me to own a CD player because so many out there are just so flat and ultra detailed doing a, you know, a certain type of angle in the sound and that that's fine for me if you could just as a customer come back after a month having used that and then you know trade it for another cd player you know but that's not how life works <laughs> um you have to buy another cd player um to get another sound and you know for me that that becomes a problem um which is also like you know the main reason why I do streaming because basically when I have a streamer I can create the illusion of me having I don't know 30 different uh, CD players you know and with a CD player you're kind of stuck with that type of sound but again you know I'm talking about a streamer sound that you know up there that you currently can't really buy in stores you know so in order for you to get into that world you would have to get a custom um, streamer that you build from the bottom yourself and then you take these them to these levels you know like I've shown you in my videos you know why streaming is currently in in the stone age why um, that 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 that's one title of my <clears throat> video there's also another one called uh, 16 levels of, of um, streaming uh, that you also can look out for <clears throat> there I kind of put everything into perspective uh, that's the type of sound that I'm, I'm talking about around level 12, 13, 14, you know, that's what I'm talking about. Um, so where was I going with this? Um, yeah, so just to conclude, um, I feel that if I had to start all over again you know and, and I had a random system let's just say I had an exposure system a prima system a class a system any random system it could even be like a Cayenne tube system or whatever uh, if I had to compromise at, at a lower level okay I, this is what I call a lower level um, 
I would then take something like an audio note um, CDP 2.1 signature or an ear acoot CD player, you know. Um, <clears throat> so that's around this level here. Uh, we'll get up here. Yeah. That's around a level two, you know, uh, around that area. Um, I feel that that's like, you know, for regular people, that that's really what you want to do, something like that. Um, are there other alternatives on the market? Yeah, of course there are. But, you know, I've, I've listened to a lot of CD players and um, from what's currently available, unless you're like freakish, freakishly lucky... Um, if you're lucky, you could probably get something like a YBA Passion 200 or 300 CD, you know, and then that would probably be around that level. And you could, of course, modify it a bit here and there, and it would, of course, be better. But again, does that world really exist? How many are there of these in the world? I, I only believe, you know, this is just me personally. This is like... Um, a hidden gem within the hi-fi world where I'm just guessing but I don't think that there are more than <clears throat> 50 players of YBA Passion 200 or 300 models um, on the market <clears throat> so I wouldn't bet on that you know I think it's more likely to to have stuff like this on the market or at least stuff like this uh, that you at least can uh, buy new or uh, used and just know for a fact that, you know, this changes with time. Um, I think they started making these around year 2000. And um, I don't know when they started making these. But every time, you know, a couple of years passes, they make small modifications. And usually with audio notes, stuff gets a lot better with time. But I don't know about the newer ear acoot CD players. I haven't heard them. I can imagine that they got better. But again, I don't know. Um, of course, YBA makes some really good CD players, some passion CD players, and of course they're better than than these older ones. Yeah, but price-wise, I mean, we're we're into Macintosh uh, territory of of uh, CD player prices, and yeah, I do to some degree feel that they are better than most Macintosh CD players. But again, that's my personal opinion. So. I just feel that these CD players here are organic. They're they're nice. They have basically everything going on at at a low to mid level. And if you want to exceed this this standard, my god, are you going to pay a lot of money? I mean a lot of money. We're talking about Macintosh MCD 1100 uh money Negra CD player uh money plus you know, uh, in, in, in you know, in that zone, and then with with like perhaps a zero after that, uh, if you really want something that's you know a hell of a lot better, you know. So, uh, but if if I wanted like a, an even better sound than that, you know, uh, and I again had a random system, I would of course go with the Audio Notes four point one CDP. But um, price wise, that that that's an insane one price wise, but. I could also go for with like a, a used Negro CDP in, in in a in a Negro system again, um, but those are just my considerations. You know, I, I feel that ultimately in a random system, if you want like the ultimate CD player, you want to go with this. But if you have a top audio note system, of course you want to try and perhaps go with something above that. Um, I haven't heard those levels, even I. Uh, but uh, I've heard from friends that, yeah, it's significantly better. So, yeah, those are just my considerations about timing, um, how it really uh, affects the whole market, um, where we can kind of figure out where things are according to my perspective. So don't feel invalidated in any way if you own some of this stuff that i mentioned that is on the you know the the lower levels you know don't don't feel bad just 
feel that you can somehow use the information that you've gotten from me for you to somehow get closer to the sound that you want. You could be at a lower level. Now you know, for example, that, okay, there's some older Yamaha, so uh, Sony CD players at the bottom, where if you get the heavy ones from around the 1990 area instead of the um, you know late 90 area that is the low model, it could be significantly better. Just you know, you could look at this in many different ways. I hope at least that I have made it a bit easier for you just to understand purely timing, um, how that affects the sound and how it kind of fits into this whole equation of price, brands, category. And just know that this is the, the viewpoint from the 80s to the 90s to, you know, the 20s to, to right now of me. But um, we are at a time where this could change. So just take that into consideration. So that that's me logging off. Like and subscribe if you can and leave a comment. Uh, I'd like to hear what you think about this uh, video and just your experience. Perhaps you know a CD player that I haven't mentioned that you want to uh, bring to, uh, you, know, you know, bring into uh, attention of this channel. So uh, yeah, have a nice day. Bye.